All right, McLovin, you ready for Against the Grain, which is brought to you by our friends at Red Hook. They brewed the ultimate craft beer for watching sports. Actually, we're the ones that came up with it. Audible Ale. It's a gold medal winner. Craft beer flavor, crushable. You can enjoy it the whole game. Uh, bar right around the corner here has, uh, has it on tap. Eli's. Got it on tap there. May have to go get topped off there. Uh, Redhook.com. Uh, Audible Ale. Listen to your thirst. It's audible. All right. Um, are you ready for or against the grain? McLovin? Ready to go. You are ready. <laughs> so you want to win your fantasy football yes. draft? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. People read the wrong kind of things before a fantasy football draft. You have Matthew mm. Barry's rankings, Yahoo. Before my draft, I read Sunza's Art of War, Machiavelli's The Prince. <laughs> And the biog- biography of Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox Revolutionary War General, it's all about warfare. So what you got to do, you get in the draft, constantly undermine your opponent. Are you calling out Matthew Barry? Oh, he's great, actually. Oh, no. okay. But that's I- a, that was my example okay. of somebody's rankings you would want to read. Okay. But it's not about who you pick. It's about, you know, talking tough. Because then everyone thinks that your picks are great and theirs are bad, and they'll make dumb trades with you later on. So you constantly undermine your opponent's picks, and you play up your own. Like, they take DeMarco Murray, and then you say, what? raise your hand and say, Commissioner, excuse me, I didn't know. Injuries now count as something you get points for? Stuff like that. Oh, wow. Spread false rumors. Like, <laughs> last night I was in a draft, and I, I put out on the message board, oh, did you hear Josh Gordon got reinstated for the year? Obviously, he did not. Stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, basically talk tough. Refuse to pay the entry fee because you know you're going to win. Stuff like that. <laughs> And as far as some actual football stuff, I'm going to tell you how I've already basically dominated two drafts. I mean, I could I could play the season, but it's really it's a fait accompli. Wait on quarterback, Dan. I love 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 Jay Cutler and Tony Romo. What do you think? I would think Cutler would put up big numbers with those receivers. Um, no defense in Dallas, so Romo better put up some big numbers. Yeah, he's got to throw like a hundred times a game. He looks great to me. Go crazy for Eddie Lacy. I mean, like, sell the house, do whatever you can to get Eddie Lacy. You know, he's about four or five in most drafts. I put him ahead of Jamal Charles, and I put him ahead of Matt Forte. That makes me a controversial figure in this crowded market, but I'm going to say that. I love, love, love Emmanuel Sanders in Denver, taking that Eric Decker role. Uh, Here's a great strategy. Take everyone's handcuff running back. If someone drafts a running back with injury problems, <laughs> immediately take his backup right afterwards and then just flaunt it the entire draft. Take take a deep breath here. No, I'm too excited. I know though. you are. I drafted Niall Davis in like the eighth round just to get at the guy who owned Jamal Charles. Wasn't that the Arkansas running back? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a great backup. <laughs> Talking about a crowded marketplace. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and finally, I want to talk about one of my favorite players, my favorite people out there. Jeremy Hill behind Gio Bernard in Cincinnati. He just runs downhill. Dan. Is that the LSU kid? The LSU kid might get some goal line <laughs> carries. He runs downhill. I do not know what that means unless there are certain fields where the slope is it actually going unfair. downhill. Yeah, it seems unfair. Yeah. He gets to run downhill. But then when they switch, does anybody, to run run, up. anybody run uphill? Yeah, in the second quarter, you have to run uphill. So you have to put him in at the right time because apparently he can only go downhill. <laughs> so he plays first and third quarter. It depends. That's, okay. you know, it depends how they, if they win the toss in the beginning. Okay. So basically, oh, one more thing. Don't bring 38,000 papers to a draft. I've done this before. First of all, you, you're on the clock, and you can't find the right list. You're like, oh, where's that Matthew Barry list? And you have, like, your Verizon bill. So don't do that, and it makes <laughs> you look desperate. It's all about confidence, Dan, confidence, which you know that's, you know, my mantra. Just go in there and kick butt. Okay. That's against the grain. Thank you, McLovin. Yes.